Cannon for supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And again, I, I thank the Minister for his response on this. And the Minister will be aware of the introduction of the programme light apprenticeships. There was a number of us raised concerns about it. And we do uh, appreciate that the construction industry has taken a hit. But can I ask the Minister what incentives is his depart uh, department offering to employers uh, so that they may well have some incentive for to take on these uh, young folk? Uh, to do their, their apprenticeship training and perhaps revert back from programme-led apprenticeships back to employer-led apprenticeships, Question, which is please. by far the best way forward. Um, well, I agree with the member with the last point he made, and I think he's talking to converted in the sense that the employer-led scheme is by far the best mechanism. But I have to say and repeat, Mr. Deputy Speaker, the reason we have a programme-led scheme is because there was insufficient uptake by employers of apprenticeships. In other words, there were places where cut even some of our biggest uh, uh, companies, companies who normally would have taken on significant numbers of apprentices each year, slashed the numbers and in some cases decided to take on none at all. In those circumstances, what were we to do? Were we to sit and allow the members uh, allow their apprentices just to go by the wayside, because I have absolutely no doubt, had we taken no action in the autumn, we would have thousands of young people actually now simply on job seekers. Now, the, the take-up of the scheme at 3,000 places at the moment is very strong and was very strong right at, from the very start, so it was perfectly clear that young people saw an advantage in this. As to the incentive, the overriding incentive is for employers to have a highly trained workforce, which is the best way of them maintaining the bottom line of their accounts. In other words, they can only succeed if they have the labour force that enable them to succeed. And that ultimately is the, is the best possible. Now, we do provide incentives for employers in, who do take on apprentices, and indeed we have a bonus system that if they keep the apprentice right through to the end of the process, they even get a bonus at that stage as well. So, I mean, if the member is asking me to look at that particular scheme, I'm happy to look at that scheme, and I will do so, and I'll come back to the member on that. But there are incentives, but the principal one is that a highly trained apprentice is in the long-term interests of the employer, and, and that should not be overlooked. 